Welcome back, YouTube. Going deeper is on the menu for this video. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. All the relevant game detail will be in the comments below. Feel free to check them out. Discord will be there. The Facebook will be there. The Google Play link will be there. It will all be there for your clicking pleasure. Check it out. I highly recommend this game. It is uh, one single developer. And I am very interested to see what else they have in store. Because as of right now, what is currently in there is a ton. Now, before on this channel, you have seen the initial tutorial. We, we went through that. That was a, that hooked that hooked me immediately. OK, I loved it. And then we also did a little bit of the campaign mode uh, with ads. And those were quite jarring, as was immediately pointed out to me by one of uh, the subscribers here on the channel. And I appreciate all of that feedback. So if there's something that you want to see, something that you want to hear, let me know in the comments, please. That's something that I look for immediately. Feedback on what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what works, what doesn't work. I have fun creating the content, but I, I need you to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, what's the point, right? So today what we're going to do is we're going to get into sandbox mode. Now, for those that know this channel as well as my Twitch, I do early access games. I love sandbox stuff, resource management, RTS, survival, a wide variety of different content. Okay, lots of different titles. World of Warcraft, the Hearthstone, to going deeper and RimWorld and I mean, you've seen PUBG and Fortnite, and there's been a ton of stuff on here, okay? However, focusing on this, the sandbox mode itself opens up a whole new option to what you're used to with just the tutorial or campaign mode. It really gives the person who wants to do a free play with no enemies the option. You can turn your goblin percentage down. You can turn off anything under like the hostile spiders, the lava giants. Hunger and thirst you can turn off. You can turn on always happy. So this way it doesn't matter if they don't eat or drink. They're always happy. It doesn't matter. You can let them live and sleep out on the dirt ground. And they'll still be happy. We're not going to do that. We're going to give ourselves some challenge here. The only thing that I am going to turn off is rivers. Because that made a huge divide for me in multiple playthroughs that I recorded, that I live streamed. And... It's a big struggle. And that's one of the things you need to consider is that if you're on one side and the merchant spawns on the other side multiple times, you are going to be out of luck. S-O-L, as some would say. But we're going to leave everything else on. Population is going to be good. We're going to allow the migrants to come in. Uh, goblins are going to be... And we're going to do 75% goblins. We're going to crank it down just a little bit. But we're basically going to get through with it. So I think the first thing you're probably going to notice is the amount of credits you get. When you do sandbox, 895 credits as compared to your starting credits for the tutorial. Much more. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank up the food a little bit. We're going to go 10 bread. We're going to add, we're going to do five water barrels. We're going to pump up our seeds. So carrots, we're going to do 25 of each seed. Okay. 25. Potato seeds, we'll do 25. And then cotton, we'll do 25. And then the final two places we are going to set up a yak farm. So we're going to do, we got a bunch of money. So let's do eight yak. Let's do an even number. But we're going to need food to feed them right off, which is wheat. We need wheat to feed them. So we're going to do a whole bunch. I would like to say 100 wheat. Actually, we'll do fit. We'll start at 50 and see where that takes us. We end up losing miserably. We'll do another one. Let me know if you want to see something a little bit different. Let me know if you want to crank it up on super hard mode. Let me know if you would like to see one on completely free and open mode to where there's no hostile activity whatsoever. It's complete peaceful mode. I'm down to do it all. And that leaves us with 285. And we're actually going to pump up some more bread. Let's do 25 bread. That's 210. We got five barrels of water, plenty of seeds. A little bit of money left over this way when the merchant does arrive we have something in the bank and we're gonna start it riotville welcome to riotville 
Let's get at it. Introduction. You are the king here. Do whatever you want. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, pause it. As I do with many of my other games that are pausable, RTS, some titles, Oxygen not included, RimWorld is another. Just pause it. Take the time to look at your surroundings. This is where we're starting, okay? So we've got our yaks, we've got our peoples. Colony, who do we got here? Let's take a quick look at who is in here. Dwalkral, Milo, Thorback, Savina, and Salsa. Okay? Now, if you've been to any of the live streams, you know that anybody that jumps in chat, the regulars, the, the community in and of itself, will get a name. And uh, we hope they live prosperously. But it looks like we got uh, a good open field area right here for our crops. We have a nice little rock structure over here to where we can dig out and protect ourselves. Uh, same thing with north a little bit. And to the east, not a whole lot. I mean, down here we have nice chunks to the south to where we can grab more. I can see a couple of little nodes of copper there. Nice node of copper there right in the center. And then we're going to zoom back in. First we check, Colony Wealth exceeded 5k. I don't know how it does that. I mean, it's showing that's our wealth. Now I'm going to assume immediately without knowing, and if if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments, that this is our supplies altogether, what we have in our inventory, basically our stocks, right? What's in the stockpile? We've got a bunch of different things. That's what it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and move it or not unpause it yet please hold we want to kind of get a little bit of a structure going on here the first thing we got to do is we need food so let's build our zones potato zones first of all, and we're going to keep it small because there's only five so we're going to do rotating plot lands and we're going to do one by fives so we'll be able to do actually let's do Let's see, how far does it stretch up? Because I don't want it to go too far. Let's do, how many is this? Can we do 10? That's beautiful. So we'll do a 10 of potato. We'll do a 10 of carrots. We'll do, don't have beetroots yet, and that's okay. We'll do a 10 of wheat, and then we'll do a 10 of cod. This way they're all right next to each other. Once we do get beetroot seeds, we'll be able to plant those. And later on down the line, we can make some really cool things with the kitchen. Uh, other than that, where I'm going to stick my stockpile is right down. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put the stockpile down here. Right down here because then we can get a bunch of wood and stone from here. We can start digging out this area for protection. And I'm already looking to see where we can kind of connect it down here over to the southwest. There's a little bit of a choke point there if we need and the enemies come through. All right. Not too shabby. We're going to play it out and see how it goes. Again, if you've watched this far, give it a like. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe yet, because maybe you don't have got this far. So you won't even hear it. So, let's go ahead and get them started, because it's planting season. Not sure that they're going to make it in time. But, I'm going to also put a pasture down here. And we want the yak farm. We want them... We don't want to want them. We want them with production because we want them to. Uh, actually, what is it? Six per year. We got a bunch. Let's keep them breed. This way, we can we can multiply them. So, let's put the zone. I'm gonna put it right down over here. We're gonna do six by ten. Actually, we'll do six by twelve. That's the yak pasture. Now let's get our stockpile down. I want to put the stockpile below right here. Because we can always put more underneath. That should be enough. I'm just even it out with the yak pasture there. So now anybody not doing anything will go and begin to move. And I'm not sure if they're going to... Yep, looks like they might be going in there on their own. Or are they just kind of wandering freely? Maybe wandering freely. So the first thing I want to check is my colony. I want to make sure my units... Mine, lumbering, farming, farming, cooking. That's beautiful. But we want them to be able to move. So I'm not sure if Cowboy is going to do it. And that's why we got one Cowboy right there. And then... 
carburetor, miner hauler. Right, so not everybody's hauling, but I do want to turn those on. And then what we can do is we're going to get them started on a little bit of the clearing. So it's beautiful. They're starting to move everything around. Let's get them to chop down this little uh, chunk right here. So we'll click the camera back on. We'll put the big drag right here. We'll clean out these right here. And we'll also do the same for the stone just laying around. Right here. This way it gives us a nice clean area. We can begin to build into, like I said, this tunnel right here is going to be another. So I want to dig in. I'm going to dig in one, two. And then I'm curious. Actually, no, we're going to remove these tasks here. I don't want them to fully take that down. Let's just clear the land first. Nice job on the farming. Get those supplies started. And the first thing we want to do is after they start to chop down the trees, there goes Milo. Milo is chopping down some trees. Beautiful. Plant the cotton seeds. And we got the one shovel. That's the other thing you need to remember, too, is if your colonists stop working, make sure that what they're working on, they have their tools for it. They're not going to be able to dig the garden if they don't have the shovel. Okay? Remember that. They're not going to be able to mine the rocks if they don't have the pickaxe. Same goes for trees. If they don't have a regular axe, they're not going to be able to chop the trees. So now we have a little bit of tree supply. We're going to need a whole bunch more than that, but I plan on setting up the actual uh, afforestation. I'm going to put, like, right over here once they clear everything up. But I do want to build our workshops. We're going to kick it off with our carpenter workshop. We want to keep this really close to the supply station here, your stockpile, so they're not wandering all over the place. And the other one... Which we don't have stone yet, but we're getting there. We'll get some stone eventually. And I'm second guessing my decision to dig in here. I might make something a little bit more even. Wooded, possibly. I don't know. Let's let's uh, let's get them to start. Just we'll dig out this. I'm gonna dig out this chunk too as well. This way, everybody is there. And now we have a ton of work for them to do. So they're going to run about and do their thing. Anybody that's going to be hauling will be hauling. As you can see, they started breeding. We've got a baby yak already. Look at that. Amazing. Now, I'm not sure of the size requirements for the yak pasture. So that would be something very, very interesting to understand some information on that is not currently available in the game so possibly in the future a wiki coming maybe perhaps time will tell only time will tell the farm looks good <clears throat> the yak pasture is looking good right they got the yep there's the other one that's in there is there another one that's floating around i thought we had another yep right up there Nice. Thor back. He's just happy. Good. I'm glad you are happy, Thor back. Yes, you are. Are you a cowboy? What are you? Let's see what you have. You are a cowboy. Cowboy, farmer, hauler. Let's remember those things in order for the next yak to come down in here, right? Because there's still one there. Have they wandered far? Yep. There's going to go grab another one. Beautiful. Get them all in one place. They have not really kind of wandered a little bit far, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. The workshop is up. Outstanding. Now, the cost for beds, I think, is extremely high. That should be nerfed maybe just a little bit. It's because they get very unhappy without beds very quickly. So, 
I think that might be a little bit tuned too high. The wall crawl is in here chopping down them stones. Mind them stones. Milo's hauling them. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we have enough stone that we can go ahead and put in our mason workshop now. Want to leave a little space between so they don't have to go around. Beautiful. Oh, it's going to take us a little bit. I'm tempted to speed, do a little speed action here. Yep, getting the rest of the garden ready. Beautiful. But we don't want to go too fast. Just little bits of, little bits and bits of mobs here and there. We don't want to turbo all the way through because that's what has gotten me into trouble many a times before. I turn it all the way up and then it gets spirals out of control and you can't fix it. I know there are some out there that do it that way. More power to you. For me, it's a little bit different. A little bit slower. Still got plenty of seeds. Still got plenty of wheat for them to eat. Are right, you going to start uh, building that? There we go. Nice. So now we can make our millstone for our foods. All right, so the next step we want to look at is kitchen. We want to be able to establish your seed harvester early on. This ergonomist workshop, this will grab any food products that you have, like carrots or potatoes or cotton or beetroots, and it will split them out into seeds, something you want to get very early on, even before your kitchen, to be honest. That, well, that is just my opinion, so... Feel free to share your opinion below. If you made it this far, click the thumb. Give it a like. Or click the thumb down if you don't like it. But if you do that, please tell me why. I'm very curious to know why you didn't like it. And if you feel like subscribing to another YouTube channel, please do it. It helps. So the Argonomist needs a millstone. So we're going to make one of those. But before we do that, do we have any masons? Zero. I have, technically, everybody could be a mason, but you want to look for one that at least has a one. We may not be lucky. We are not lucky. We don't have any. So we have two in the farm. We can do one in the one mason. Take one out of the farm. They should prioritize harvesting over anything else, which is beautiful. And they're going to be all good. They're finally hauling everything over there. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. We get a little food. There's plenty of bread. Thorback still digging in the farms over here, which is beautiful. Nobody making the millstone yet. Now, we may be SOL because nobody has any skills, so I'm not even sure that uh, they're going to be happy doing that. Moving on to the next. We're going to do a little bit more turbo here. People are getting some water, possibly some food. We want, uh, let's make a couple of mugs. Do we have any carpenters? You know what? Let's see if we can do five mugs. A mug for each. But again, slowing it back down because everybody's... See how unhappy they get automatically? Thirsty, tired. Why are they thirsty? They don't have cups. They can't drink from the barrels we have supplied them. But in order to build the cups, we need a carpenter. All right, so you're a two. Let's put you on a carpentry. And everybody's asleep. Looks like it. Everybody is asleep on the ground. So we're going to turbo through a little bit till they wake up. Hopefully they can jump in on the carpentry as well as the remainder of the harvest. Look at the, the beautiful yak farm. There we go. Alright, that's one awake. Who else is awake? Anybody else gonna wake up soon? Oh. Disease, there we go. Harvesting some cotton. There we go. Everybody's awake now. Okay, slow back down. Looks like we got uh, some mugs going here. Start a planting season. Good, we got plenty of seeds. Let's go ahead and get those in there, crew. And we do have the millstone working now. Beautiful. We got some happiness going up there. Love to see it. Now, 
want to do, as soon as that millstone is done, actually before, we need, how many plank? 40 planks. So let's get, uh, 10 of these. Once those mugs are done. And did they chop down all those trees? They did. So let's, uh, go down here and clean up some trees down here from this bottom section. Turbo it up. I'm gonna live life dangerously. I'm gonna keep it turboed up for a while and see how bad that destroys me. And the other thing we want to do immediately is put in more stockpile zones. So we're gonna butt it right up next to the yak pasture and we're gonna run it all the way across, making sure we got plenty of stockpile room. And then we're gonna be building all of our different workshops right here by the stockpile. This way, when they're going to get supplies and they're building the products and the products are finished, they can put them on the stockpile with ease. The travel time is very small. Good. Yes, building the planks. Keep building all of those planks. There's 16. We need a total of 40. But as they're doing that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to position this. Again, one space away. We got the millstone done. Once we get all of the planks done, that will also be the filler for our ergonomist workshop. There we go. See that? Look at how, look at how fast he's, he's doing that. See that? That's why you want to build your workshops close to your stockpile. Because they can fill the stuff up quickly. They can get it built quickly. There's the millstone. And they built. So then we will have the ability to make all of the seeds that we have once our food is done. So the next thing up is planks. So that's 80. And we wanted those because we're going to need doors. Actually, we're going to do 120. Because we're going to need doors. We're going to need beds. We're going to need wood floor. And I think already thinking of ideas for a static colony with no migrants to make it a little not easier but a little bit different in terms of not having migrants will allow you to build a very small base and maintain an area that will be sufficient for their happiness for example putting down the wood floors putting in the door making sure they got beds and also building furniture, flower pots, statues and chairs, cabinets and tables. All of those things to make them a little bit happy. You can see the training dummy and the armor stand for when you're building your barracks. But once this is all complete, I'm curious to see how much wood they have chopped. Alright, not too bad. Go over here. Not too shabby. Wish you could click on the individual yaks and give them names. That'd be pretty awesome. Maybe in a future update, we'll see what happens. Nope, there's some happiness there. See, migrants are ready. So we're going to slow it down just a little bit. And let's see where they came from. Hello, migrants. Where did you guys come from? Are you guys uh, hiding on me, or did you come did you appear close? Let's look. There's one migrant. Who is it? Priel. Jumping right into the thick of it. Beautiful. Ooh, you're a plus two weaver. All right. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Alright, so the next thing, as these planks are being mass-produced, I want to look at... We don't need a kitchen yet, don't need the smelter yet, but the furniture beds are going to be a must. We need six now, because we have six colonists. That's 95 planks. You do the math. 15 planks per bed. 15 times 6. That's 90. So we're going to need a whole bunch of planks. That's why I had them chop down all this wood below. 
Milo is down there chopping it up. We're gonna turbo up a little bit more because we're gonna so we're gonna build our base right underneath here. But I want to look as they're kind of milling about, still doing their thing. The Oracle is the only. One. I don't want him on carpentry. I just want you on mining, dude. You got it. You're the only one with the pickaxe, so let's keep it that way. M Metallurgist is not needed yet, but he's a three, a plus three, which is good. Good to know he's also a carpenter, but let's go ahead and clear all that out. And I want to know if we... If I start it with wood... You know, we got a lot of stone. I may make it with stone. I'm not 100%, but let's take a quick look at our stocks. How much stone do we got? 17? All right, you guys are getting there. You guys are getting there. So one of the other things we can do is if I get enough to build our kitchen, we see we need a furnace, and in order to build the furnace we need five actual bricks. So it's going to be two of these. That'll be eight. That'll give us just enough for one furnace. That way we can start, because we have them yaks breeding, we can start to use them for food. So what we'll do, yep, he's making the bricks, that's beautiful, and then after those are done, we're going to do one furnace. And then once that furnace is done, we should have enough, plenty of planks. I'm going to build the kitchen right over here. Lines up right to the edge, which is perfect. Store call, dwell crawl, handling planting season, yes, get in there, start planting it up. Hopefully they should prioritize drinking the water, making them a little bit happy. Let's look at the overall colony happiness here. Everybody's got all smiles. Looking great. And once the, f the actual kitchen gets built, we'll be able to handle a little bit more food. But as for right now, we got a, a good supply of seeds in order to farm. See, they're, uh, looks like they're ready for milking. Which is absolutely fine. We're not ready to do that yet. Because we do not have our kitchen yet. So. Furnace. They're going to prioritize planting over anything else. So let them do that. They're going to keep harvesting down here. That's good. Yeah, get all that wood. Because of the reforestation project will probably be somewhere over here, I'm thinking. Somewhere in this general area, just to the southeast of the stockpile. And I want to keep the upper north part, north of the stockpile, free for... And there's the merchant. See that? Beautiful. But we have no place for him to go. So, in the construction, or you do infrastructure, your market is where you're going to put for your... And that's actually, we have enough for that already. So, pausing real quick... Where did he spawn? Down in the southeast? So he's not that far, but... They're still planting. Let them finish all their planting. That's absolutely fine. I think the next big area we're going to build for him... We're going to do infrastructure. Marcus, he wood is gone because he's making all the planks. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Let's clear out some over here. Let's clear out these. Now we need tons and tons of wood. And then once they are done planting, they will reprioritize for the other tasks. They're going to watch that happiness because if they start to get unhappy, we don't want to get too far behind on building the actual rooms. Stone is good. Wood logs are okay. Other materials, see 80 planks. I mean, that means they should be done with the plank. I did 80 originally? Yes. So those are done. That's good. We're gonna need more, but let them chop a little bit. Let them kind of look at... Okay, so food will slow it down. I'm gonna check out the foods that we can make. You can see cheese, bread. Let's actually try and make... Uh, being that they're ready for milking, let's see if we can make some cheeses. Let's make five cheese. 
but I'm not going to be able to do that because we don't have buckets. So we want to do... Let's do... Three buckets and see how that works out. Now, did we completely get rid of our colonist for carpentry? I think so. Let's look. Milo, no, Milo's a carpenter. He's also a lumberjack and a hauler. Let's turn you off lumberjacking for a minute. Anna is also a lumberjack. That's good. That's good. Yeah, okay, good. So we got a couple of other lumberjacks. They don't have the axe, though. Milo's the only one. So Milo's going to go down. He's going to make these beautiful buckets. Oh, oh, message. Migrants. More migrants have a Bren. Donier. Two more. Two more. See, that's one of the things that... That's one of the reasons why I would turn off the migrants in, a, in another episode, is to avoid this influx so quickly. Like, you don't really need that many migrants in this early game. Like, five would be good until, like, year 10. Year 20. Because then you could bulk them all up and have them level all of their different skills so there'd be a wide diversity of capabilities. And then say, okay, after 10 years, after the threshold, then okay, maybe. See, so the cheese is there. Do we? All right, that's one of the things you got to check. Let's make sure we have a cook. Yes. So this is cooking. It needs the bucket. There goes the cheese. Beautiful. So they're going to go grab. They're going to go milk. Nice. -y. So you got to make the cheese. Look, they're going to do that. Beautiful. And Donier's milking too? No. He's just hanging out. He's just p petting them. Yes? Yes. Donier, what are your labors, my guy? Carpenter, Agartemis, Builder, Metallurgist, Medic. Oh, that's good to know. Medic, Blacksmith, good. Hauling, good. Lumberjacking, good. You don't have the axe. So who has the axe? Milo's got the axe, right? Pretty sure he does. Let's look. What are you having in there? You don't. You gave it off. Who did you give it to? Oh, I gave it to Priel. Nice. Handing off tools to one another. That's a beautiful thing. It's gorgeous. So our next... We want the market. So now we have enough... Nope, let's do camera first. I want to put it down, like, over here somewhere. I'm just going to put it... I'll put it right at the edge. Right next... Right below the yak farm. Actually, a little bit closer. Just like that. They can build it there. And then it'll be able to house the merchant when the merchant arrives. Speed it back up a little bit here. Turboing through. A couple of little dead air moments there in the video, but that's okay. Nice to put in the supplies. Good. That becomes extremely necessary early game. If you can get enough supplies to get the merchant up and running, because then any surplus you have, you can sell. We're looking for beetroots to complete our farmland. Uh, any fertilizer possible to help re- Till the soil and stuff once the it go grows fallow. There's so much. How are we doing over here in terms of cleaning stuff out? Not too bad. Let's check our general happiness. Everybody's okay for now. And now I want to check my stock supply too. How's wood doing? 58 logs. 41 stone. Now I am very tempted to make a stone fortress. There's the first attack. So, what didn't we do? We have no place to set up our army. So, if we go to make a new army, and barracks is missing, they don't have a barracks. So, I can't just... I need to have, like, an enclosure to do that, right? So, even if I were to just... Like this, or like this... 
even just like there's no way to build it right so let's see can we make uh let's just, let's just hire everybody let's get everybody in there squad is there so they don't have a barracks to retreat to is like a main main defense and what we want to do is we want to pull up our note of where the goblins are coming in so there's how many one two where did they come they came from the north all right so what we're going to do is we're going to defend right here and we're going to slow play it let everybody go defend here there they go so now you can see we want to focus fire we want to attack the first one here Zoom in a little bit. And they each have swords. Default again, kind of circle around. This way they can just one shot him. So both of them are attacking this guy right here. Don't die. Just stay alive, buddy. Run away. Then we'll attack this one over here. Good, he stayed alive. That's a plus. This guy will get two-shotted by everybody attacking all at once. And then it, as soon as the attack is over, let them go back to what they were doing. Because you can see immediately that their happiness go, goes down when they're forced to do things that they don't want to do, like kill things and save, save the colony. But that's something that they should be uh, thankful for got to be able to to build it and protect it right if you can't protect it what's the point of building it? so now that we have our army everybody's going to kind of go back let's just take a quick look here at their happiness they're still all pretty green across the board which is good very interested to see how long that lasts but the merchant station is almost complete sosa's putting the blocks in there and get them stones in there and he's building. Beautiful. So what we're going to do right off the edge is where we're going to start our defensive area, their home. But I want to look again. Wood, we're at 61. Stone, we're at 38. So we have... Oh, I want to make it stone so bad. I really do. However, that's a lot of stone. But if I do it all wood, then... So we're going to have to just do it stone, that's all. And we don't have a second pickaxe. So maybe when the merchant comes, we can buy a second pickaxe. That's always a possibility. We're going to go back to turbo. How's these farms looking? Good, good, good. Food, it looks like everybody's got enough food and everything. Yep, I see potatoes and bread. I see cheese now, too, which is awesome. So let's get another. See, cheese. two more cheese is, is waiting, which is good. And then we don't have the beetroots for the stew. We can make roast with... What is the roast? Spices. I wonder if we... I don't think we can make the spices. I think we have to buy those. Hmm. I do think we have to buy those. Alright, so we're going to build. We're going to do our construction. And we're doing stone walls. So we're going to... Start it off... Just like this. We're going to draw... And we're going to leave that space open... Actually, no. We're going to have it open here. Nope, let's remove that task there. Nope, let's remove those tasks. Let's go back to the camera. And then we're going to place an equal number on the back side. So what these will be is this will be one room. Actually, no, no. We're going to make them a little bit bigger. So this is essentially going to be one room and this will be another room now that probably blow through all of our stone supplies but that's going to be our base right so for every we'll do two two and then space two right and then bring it down bring it across or is that too big i made that too big and that's okay. That's alright. 
These could be luxury suites. You know, I'm not too worried about it. Again, we've only had this game for man, a little over a week now. So I'm, I'm curious to see how it plays out. And there's going to be more. That's 100%. I just am interested on some of the play that I haven't wasn't able to reach in the tutorial or uh, excuse me that's a tutorial the campaign because the campaign is very difficult and I am all for a challenge however if it's a little too challenging that could be a deterrent to many so it's empty see no more stone all right so that's that's our first all right, so, we, okay, you guys have stopped mining completely. All right, so you know what? We're going to dig. We're going to dig out all this. We're going to dig out all this. You guys are going to dig out all this. Get that wood. Get that wood. I mean stone. There you go. Hopefully the merchant will be... What do you come with? Every two years? So eight, nine. All right, all right, so the merchant should be here next year, which is good. And maybe have this, like, a, a little double dining area, possibly? Because that's one thing we, we messed up on. We want we want all the rooms to be the same. So you want it to be two spaces for your bed. And then there's other additional items in there. You want to make sure they have a door. You want to make sure you put down all the wood floor first. Because if you don't put the wood floor under the bed, it's not showing as a completely wooded floor room if that makes sense i'm not sure that makes sense and again if i'm misinterpreting any of this or not explaining it cl clearly enough please mention it down in the comments below i always appreciate the constructive criticism it's what i thrive for. Now, unfortunately we don't have any more stone so they can't continue building but what i can do is we can lay out we want to go back to construction, and we want just one. So you want one space, door, and then wall. Right? So then this will be a wall like this. Right? That's exactly what we want. One space, door, and then wall. And then we just mirror it on this side. What's this message? Planting season. Hopefully, is it nine? I think it's, uh, yep. I think the merchant's coming this year, every two years. So there, now the rooms will be even. So that's two, four, six, technically eight rooms. We have eight colonists. We have these luxury rooms in the middle. I'm not sure if the room size is really going to do anything for their happiness. It might, might not. We'll find out here in a bit. So, in terms of planks, we got 77 logs. All right, so let's go ahead and crank out some more planks. Let's do another 40, 80, 120, 160. Let's just leave those. And then hopefully our builders... Let's go back into our units. Who is not... Alright, so you're going to be a builder. You're also going to be a builder. I want everybody on building duty to get this base established here. I want to see... There's builder 3. Donier, builder 2. Let's put you in there. Builder 4. Outstanding. So some builders are good. Alright, so while our builder's there, hopefully our stone is going to be enough. But we have one, so that's what they're going to be waiting on. And then, here's the car. You're, you're chopping. You're down there mining away. That's beautiful. Good to know. Nice. More little pieces. Savina getting in there. Let's get everything established. Turbo speeding. Let's look at our overall happiness. Everybody's still relatively happy. Merchant? Yes! Go to your new home, merchant. 
Once he gets settled, you'll notice that the little money bag with the coins in the bottom will pop open. Once that happens, we're going to pause it and take a look at his wares. Beautiful. What do you have for us, dear merchant? What do we need? Stone, really, to be honest, but... There's another shovel. Okay, so... That's something I noticed. We didn't use all of our money to begin with. But we don't have any money when the merchant arrives. What happened? We still had a little bit of money left over when we first started, so I'm curious. Uh, he has 75 planks in stock. He's got bricks in stock. There's the beetroot seeds. We want to buy all those. Well, we can't because we don't have any money. I shouldn't let you do that. Like, if you have zero money, you should not... Anyway. What do we have to sell? We have a ton of... Cotton? Sell the cotton? That's our crop to be getting our income, our income crop. Now we want the beetroot seeds. That's beautiful. I will take those, and they're only 24 a pop. Good. Uh, tin ore, copper ore, copper ingots, potatoes, eggs, carrots, cotton cloth, anvil, millstone, ash, iron ingots, bandages... Copper axe. Let's actually grab... I wonder... I don't think we really need more tools right now, to be honest. Don't need another anvil. We already got one of those, and there's no loom to buy, unfortunately, so we won't be able to build our weaver workshop yet. I'm curious, though. Food-wise, we're good. Seeds, were good. Planks and stone, we're okay. Bricks, were fine. We're just actually gonna just let it go. Because I wish that we could build another pickaxe, but we're not going to be able to. Next workshop needs to be a smelter. Because we built everything with so much stone already, unfortunately. I'm curious to where... Alright, I hear you tinking, tinking over here. Alright, let's look at your... Ooh. See, that's not good either. So that's something you gotta think about early on. This guy came with the pickaxe, and the durability is almost gone already. It's down to 17. Is that gonna be enough? Probably not, and that's gonna be a big deal if the next time the merchant swings by, we're not gonna be able to mine anything else once that pickaxe is done, unless two, two, options the merchant shows up next time with pickaxes or we have another set of migrants come in and one of them has a pickaxe not really sure how that's going to go so you can see immediately the, the supply and demand is a is a huge thing like there's we need stone there there's there's a bunch of it to mine however we're not going to be able to mine it all because of our tools <clears throat> and again, going too fast might be an issue. I think it might be for me. Not managing it quick enough. Because they need beds quickly. So, that's a very good question to the community. Is that something you would invest in? When you start a sandbox, would you buy more wood and stone off the jump? Would you buy the yak farm? I'm thinking the yak farm was a mistake, but that's my honest opinion. I would like to know yours down in the comments below. Let me know. Because we haven't really used the yaks for food, and we've only made a little bit of cheese. I mean, Priel's actually eating the cheese, which is awesome. And we're starting to lose happiness here. Bren is uh, a little unhappy. And the other thing you have to remember, too, I think is probably connected to their happiness... If their clothes wear out, they can wander around half-naked. So, that's another 
big, big buff in the beginning. Like, do you build your weaver station? Do you get a, uh, the loom, right? Like, you see, this should have been built already. They should be having houses already. And we're just going to kind of keep playing it out and see what happens. Will we survive? Will we make it? Because I am not sure that the uh, pickaxe is going to last much longer. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take our dig orders and I'm going to remove them. But instead, I uh, wonder if we can do chop orders to see if anybody's still got logs. We go to our stocks and we look at wood. We have no wood. Wood is empty, but we do have 217 planks. Which is good. So, in order... What do we got? Planting season? Yes. I see it. And what we want to do... We want to chop as much as we can. However, we run into the same issue with only having the one pickaxe. So let's look... Priel is chopping, and that's going to... I honestly think we're going to have to start a fresh colony. And being that we're pushing uh, almost the hour mark here for the recording, I think that's going to be the next session. We'll start fresh. We will start anew. And maybe do a little bit of a different sandbox in terms of keeping all of the starting equations and settings where they are in terms of hostiles, so we still get... Stuff when we go underground, we get baddies. We can get colony attacks from the overground. We seem to handle that pretty well. But maybe instead of the axe, we bulk up on structural. I'm thinking that might be a really good way to go. I would definitely be interested to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. And then, to be honest, if you made it this far in the video, the least you could do is subscribe. You don't even have to like it or dislike it. But if you do... Especially if you dislike it. Let me know why. Is it my voice? Is it the commentary? Is it the lack of music in the background, perhaps? Maybe it's the gameplay style. Maybe it's my attitude. Whatever it is, let me know. Always look for that feedback down in the comments. And, uh... I'm gonna wrap it up here. To be very honest. I think we're gonna fade it to black, and in the next video, we're going to do a fresh... Sandbox but with a different approach. Thanks again for tuning in, and we will see y'all next time.